there's no dollar amount connected with that. What's the standard? It, there'd be a uh, fee generating case. Uh, they would be representing us, and, well, depends upon where. The belief is we we're going to try to keep this in state court where there's a good chance we can be removed into a mass court litigation in Ohio with many, many others. But we really are seeking to stay in state court. But in that scenario, in either scenario, it is a, uh, a contingency fee. If there is a recovery, the firm gets a certain percentage. Uh, if there's no recovery, there's no cost to the county. Do you have any idea what that potential um, money could turn into and what uh, percentage they'd be entitled to? But in the, in the case, there, it breaks down, there's two separate percentages. The percentage, if the matter winds up in federal court, where there would be one of a multitude of plaintiffs, uh, there would be less work involved unless they were chosen as the lead counsel. In that scenario, they would receive a 25% um, fee on anything to cover. In the event that it is a state court, then we would be standing alone with all of our costs associated uh, with this epidemic. Um, would have to be developed, and, and it would be a singular case where we would be the plaintiff against numerous manufacturers and producers. Um, in that case, it would be a sliding scale, starting with 33%, uh, uh, potentially for the first 750, reduced to 30 after the next 750,000, um, and continue to slide down to 25%. Thank you. You are. Yeah. Uh, number 260 on page 7, uh, it's, that's the litigation on opioid uh, epidemic, and I'd just like to know what the litigation is for. Uh, what do you expect? Uh, I guess, you know, being that opioids are involved, maybe we have some health costs involved. Uh, number 260, <laughs> Um, that litigation will basically be directly towards the uh, pharmaceutical industries, the manufacturers, the distributors. Uh, it will address costs that have been incurred um, uh, by the county on a variety of things, not only the medical examiner's office as we've reflected before, but also the costs since we are self-insured, all the medications that have been abused by the over-prescription of these drugs, um, and the cost of hospitalization, uh, Etc. So that's what we intend to uh, recover by the lawsuit, but also the main focus of this lawsuit will hopefully get the uh, get the pharmaceutical industry and the distributors uh, to stop their abuse of use of this uh, narcotic that has caused, as reflected by our director, uh, numerous deaths over the last three years and in increasing numbers each and every year. Thank you.